Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another squad builder today and warning there is no gold No, I'm just kidding guys There is no gold players in this squad, but it is pretty damn cool a lot of fun to play with And I've been noticing that silvers are a lot more fun to play with in general in ultimate team this year uh, Because most typical teams you guys are going to be coming up against are just basically your generic BPL squad uh, Your generic Serie A squad who does feature a lot of gold players um, So this squad has a few bronzes and a bunch of silvers in it and it is very cool guys So starting off with the gold Keeper position. We do have the inform Nick Romando from Real Sporting or Sporting Real, I think it is, in Kansas City uh, for the USA in the MLS. So 77 diving, 71 reflexes, 73 handling, 69 speed, 64 kicking, and 71 positioning. Now his stats do say that he is very good, and I will, uh, you know, I will admit, guys, he is pretty damn good. Um, I did play in the Gold Cup with this squad, so he didn't play fantastic for me, uh, but I definitely do think he was he's a beast goalkeeper. Um, if you guys are playing the Silver Cup or anything of like anything like that, he is a great goalkeeper to use, um, and he does actually kind of hold his own in the gold cup which is uh, very good as well so moving on to the track star in fifa 13 guys we do have marvel win 93 pace 55 dribbling 49 shooting 64 defense 50 shot and 73 heading the fastest center back in the game guys and this guy is a track star um his defense is not very good but he is extremely fast and uh, playing with him is definitely a blessing in disguise he is so fast he can catch up to basically anybody you want to and uh, he's just phenomenal I, you can't say anything wrong about him um he's a pain in the ass to play against, so I will say that, so moving on to the right back, guys, we do have Eric Lecag, I want to say, or Lishage, I want to say, uh, from Aston Villa, the non-rare right back, 78 pace, 68 dribbling, 42 shooting, 71 defense, 59 passing, and 63 heading, gives a really nice link between the MLS and the BPL, uh, because he is American, and I thought that was pretty cool, um, so I can get, you know, one less dead link in the squad, uh, but there is a lot of dead links, and I thought they were all very cool, so moving on to the other center back, we do have Ike Opara, guys, from the San Jose Earthquakes, 81 pace, 47 dribbling, 38 shot, 63 defense, 36 passing, and 75 heading. So our center back tandem did cost us around 38,000 coins, but as you guys can see, they are fantastic. 81 pace on one of them, 93 pace on the other, and uh, they just played like absolute monsters, guys. There's nothing bad I can say about either of them. Uh, I mean, they are bronze and one is silver, so going up against golds, they do get out strength a little bit, but uh, besides the strength, guys, they can catch up to basically anybody you want to, and uh, they definitely hold their own. I did not concede too many goals when I did play for this team, or uh, with this team, I should say, guys, and they were absolutely fantastic. Now, one of the biggest hidden gems I found in this game, Barry Douglas, guys. He is fantastic, and no, I'm not being sarcastic about this. He... You know, he doesn't look good. He's a non-rare bronze, 75 pace, 62 defense, 70 heading as a left back. But he is phenomenal, guys. He actually scored a goal for me. Uh, Might have been a corner kick, I think, or a, or a penalty kick. But he is so good to play with. He is everywhere. He wants to attack, but he can definitely catch up to the best of them and get back when he wants to. But gives this man a perfect link, guys. Gary Mackay Steven from Dundee United as well. The Scotman. Uh, the Scot yeah, the Scotman. That's how you say it. So 85 pace, guys. 79 dribbling, 61 shooting 47 defense 66 passing and 58 heading four star weak foot and five star skill moves that is one of the most important things guys and you guys are going to see some very good goals from him um i did believe i only scored two with him i had two five star skillers on this team uh, makai stevens being one so as you guys can see, he runs the wing, and I, this is just an absolutely fantastic goal. Nice Rabona to a Magidi spin to, once again, another fake Rabona getting the ball inside, and uh, we're going to just go ahead and do some skills. Nice roulette, and he's going to finish that off. Beautiful little skill move right there from uh, Makai Steven, and he is one of the most fantastic players to play with. Um, actually just incorporated him into another team, uh, so I'm very excited about doing that. Once again, another Magidi spin, one of my favorite moves, as you guys can probably tell if you guys have been fans of my videos for a while. Um, absolutely think it's extremely effective and love playing with it. So, moving on to the first CM, guys, we do have Giannis Meniatis from the Hellas Liga, the Greek, 77 pace, 70 dribbling, 65 shooting, 73 defense, 74 passing, and 69 heading. Now, imagine this guy as a CDM, guys. What an absolutely fantastic player. He's very good as a CM as well, but imagine those stats at a CDM, 77 pace, and 73 defense as a CDM is just really unheard of. You never hear of that, um, especially from an off-league, off-nationality you know, player. Um, 
but he did actually score a goal for me, which I was very excited about. And uh, he's he's actually a very good player, and I had a lot of fun playing with him. So, um, you know, he does give links to the other two Greek men that I do have, which I will probably be giving you guys, uh, you know, kind of a hint. You guys know who's probably playing center forward, but we will get to him uh, when we do. So moving on, guys, to the next center mid. We got Sturgios Marinos, 85 pace. Once again, another fast Greek man, 65 dribbling, 40 shooting, 63 defense, 68 passing, and 65 heading. Now, both these Greek guys were basically in there uh, you know, to get the chemistry with the center forward, but they also played extremely well. They're very pacey, a uh, very poor shot, but he did actually score a really nice goal for me uh, that we're going to show you guys right about now. So his 40 shot definitely does say uh, something else, but he actually was very good on the ball for me. He does a really nice little back heel right there, or a stop and go, whatever you want to do. Uh, but that is 40 shot, guys. That's what 40 shot gets you, a very nice finesse shot. So I would definitely say that he is much better than 40 shot. So moving on to the right mid, guys, we do have Mark Albrighton, the Aston Villa Englishman, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 71 shooting, 41 defense, 68 passing, and 42 heading. Three-star weak foot and three-star skills, and this is one of the more expensive players on this team. 10,000 coins he did run me, and for obvious reasons, guy, obvious reasons, guys, he is a um, silver in the BPL um, who is English, so he is going to run you a little bit extra coins. Unfortunately, he didn't score any goals for me, uh, but typically with my right and left mid in this formation, I typically do not put any goals in, but don't you worry, guys. The center forward and the striker took care of that, so moving on to the center forward, we have one of my favorite players, if not my favorite player in this game, Giannis Fet Fet Cetus. This guy is amazing. He was so good in FIFA 12, and he is just as good in this game, guys. 82 pace, 81 dribbling, 68 shooting, 41 defense, 69 passing, and 38 heading. 3-star weak foot, and most importantly, you have those 5-star skills. Now, he is a cam converted to the center forward position, but he is very attacking minded, and he knows how to make plays. Uh, some of the goals that he scored were just ridiculous. They were fantastic goals. Um, and obviously, guys, you do have the uh, the option of doing the five star skill moves, which is the Magidi spin, the Rabona, um, and that's basically the fake Rabona. Excuse me, guys, but that's basically as far as I go. What a beautiful, nice little Magidi spin right there to the beautiful finish. Um, that's really as far as I go because I'm not very good at skills. Um, I know your basic skill moves, and those are just all I need because they definitely can help me out, and they've definitely got gotten me out of some sticky situations. But Fat Fat Cetus knows how to score. He knows how to finish. And wow, wow, he's so good. He's one of my favorite players. Um, I I cannot say anything more about you, more about him, guys. I can just sit here in silence and be okay with that because he is just that good. Um, he finishes. He's pacey. I mean, his card says he has 82 pace, but he is so much faster than that. Um, he, he was 88 pace last game. I'm not entirely sure what happened with his pace. Um, but as you guys can see, he can do finesse shots. He can do power shots, and uh, most importantly, he has the five star skill, so he can get you out of any situation you really want to. So moving on to the last and final player in this squad, guys. Who else but Gabriel Agbon Lahore, the paciest striker in this game, or one of 93 pace guys, 75, 74 dribbling, excuse me, 72 shooting, 46 defense, 66 passing, and 76 heading. Getting that perfect link from Albright in now. One of the things, I do believe Agbon Lahore had four-star skills at the beginning of this game, but they did downgrade him to three-star, as you guys can see right there. So three-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. Uh, he did run me around 180,000 coins, and it is for completely obvious reasons. Now, here you go, Fetz Fetz Cetus, uh, trying to do a little bit of a rainbow, but Agbon Lahore is right behind him and uh, ends up slotting the goal away. So, really nice right there from the strike force uh, as the center forward and the uh, striker pair up to, to, you know, to basically create an awesome goal or what would have been an awesome goal. But here's a great example of Agbon Lahore's pace and a great example of persistence and how he just wants to score the ball. Uh, the ball bounces off the goalkeeper and he's able to just volley it right in. Now, he is huge on this game, guys. He is absolutely massive. He stands, I believe, above six feet tall. Um, in those three star skimmers, there's a beautiful example of that. Nice little let right around the defender and he's going to slot that one away so um He's just an absolutely fantastic player, and for obvious reasons, guys, he is expensive. He is 93 pace. He's in the BPL, and uh, that's basically why he is that expensive. And you need him, unfortunately, uh, to link up with Albrighton because you do have the center forward as Greek, and the left mid does not connect to the striker in this formation. So you need him. You don't have any other option at the striker, but I definitely do think he is worth it if you guys do have the coins. He's very fun to play with, and uh, when people say Hey Bonglehor, they kind of you know 
squirm a little bit because he is so fast and so good. Beautiful little fake shot to the nice finesse right around the goalkeeper in the 80th minute to finish off Egg Ball on the horse goal. So thank you guys for watching so much. I definitely do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Squad Builders. It's not really an episode. It's just another cool Squad builder. Silver and Bronze. This team absolutely destroyed, guys. Really cool pairings. Uh, triangle for the center mids and the center forward. Triangle for the center backs and the goalkeeper. And then uh, the right side and the left side kind of you know link up with each other. So thank you guys for watching so much. I definitely do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. But uh, until next time, guys, this has been Russo, and have a good one.